before I get into this, I really do want to thank you guys for all the support that you have given this channel as well as the support that you've given this series. I never really expected this series to actually be so well watched and it actually is um at the moment the the uh the who's better for farkle video has a lot of views as well as maya's um as, as well as uh who's better for maya's um video it's actually almost close to 2000 so i had never had that many views in such a short period of time as well as the interactions that i have with you guys i love commenting about girl meets world with you guys i know right now everything's kind of up in the air about whether or not we're going to have a season four but other than that it's not going to really stop me from talking about the series until the finale which is going to be sometime next year probably sometime in march but other than that guys now that i got all that out the way and i do thank you for all the support that you guys have given me on this channel I'm just going to get all that out the way and I am going to talk about what this whole topic is about. Zay Babno and who is better for him, Maya Hart or Isadora Smackle? All right, this is a guy I really didn't think I'd be talking much about because you really haven't seen him on the show that often, um, especially during the key moments. But now after... Girl Meets a Christmas Maya is kind of inspired me to make this video about Zay because Zay is becoming a character that I actually do kind of like, that I really do admire. Not only is he comic relief, he actually is sometimes a voice of reason. But the biggest, the biggest issue is he hasn't really been a key part of the main four. But even though Smackle kind of isn't either, they're both kind of outsiders, which I think is great. But... After seeing Girl Meets a Christmas Maya, it's inspired me to actually make this video and to talk about who would be better for him. Because I guess at the moment he's supposed to be with Maya, even though they're kind of not. And it's a given that Maya really wasn't all that interested in Zay, not so much in a romantic sense, but pretty much in a friendship sense. And honestly, I don't think that Zaya ever left the ground. I think that it's just going to stay where it is. It's going to be an infatuation for Zay, but Maya's just not feeling him. And really, it's kind of, it, this is going to definitely be a one-sided video because we all know that Maya is just not that interested in Zay. And I don't know whether or not she's already acknowledged that or whether or not they know they're just going to be friends and be okay with it. I have no idea what the situation is in their relationship, but honestly, it just doesn't seem like there is one. So I know it's going to be completely one-sided, but I had to have somebody to go against, you know, Smackle, so I had to put her up there. But pretty much this video is going to be mostly about Smackle being the best person for Zay. Mostly because they're both different. Well, it's not really so much of the fact that she has Ashburgers. It's so much of the fact that she is very outspoken and she's kind of, you know, she doesn't have much of a filter and she's very outspoken when it comes to some of the things she says. But that's who she is and that's how the group accepts her as. But when it comes to Zay, he's always been that way. You know, he's always been really outspoken about some of the things that, you know, he feels truly um, hard about. Like, when it comes to him being, like, I, I know at first he was a troublemaker. He did everything he could to split the main group up because he wanted to have his best friend back. And just him being his best friend, he didn't want to share him. But as time went on, he started to grow as a person, and you started to notice that he not only became a little bit more mature, he kind of understood why they all liked each other, and why they were, like, really compatible together. And he wanted to be a part of that group, even though he felt like an outsider. But Zay has always been a very outspoken type of guy, whether or not it's something he's passionate about, or whether it's just for comic relief. Or whether it's something that really does piss him off, especially when Riley ate his cookie, you know, the cookie that his grandma gave him. She, he had no qualms in telling her how much it bothered her, and to this day, it still bothers him. But, well, how it bothered him, in other words. And he's not really afraid to say what he, what he really wants to say. So I really feel that both him and Smackle have a lot in common in that aspect because they're very truthful in what they say, and they're very unforgiving. I'm not going to really say that they're... They go out the go out the way to say that they're a bit too much because I don't think that they are. That's pretty much an important trait of Smackle, how completely truthful she is about some situations. How she doesn't really have a filter, and even though she comes off as a bit snarky, she's not. You know, that's just who she is. And yeah, maybe I can play the whole fact that she has Ashburgers into this, but I don't really see it that way. I don't see it I don't see her as a 
a young lady that has autism. I just see her as a very truthful person that just says everything that comes out of her head, well, says everything that's on her mind um, with her being that outspoken. And I like Zay because Zay kind of understands her for that. And for that whole um, girl meets a Christmas Maya, I felt that he kind of felt the same thing about Smackle, that he likes her voice. And when he said, I, that, he said, your voice is the, um, is, uh, is the, what I really like about you. That just got me. Like, that got me the feel. Seriously. I never thought that he would actually see anything in common with Smackle because the entire episode was the fact that they, they couldn't find anything in common with each other. And even though they all hung out together, they really didn't know much about each other. Smackle and Zay were one of them. I mean, they're the outsiders of the main four. So, they're the ones that have the least in common with the main group because they don't hang out with each other that often. But, on the real... On that episode alone, I felt that they found more in common with each other than any other ship on that show. Well, I guess I could take that back. Right, Arkle? I'm sorry. It gives me the feels. Like, seriously. When it comes to Riley and Farkle, yeah, by far, they give me the feels. But when it comes to Zay and Smackle, that was a surprise for me. I never really thought that they would actually feel that way for each other. I mean, maybe I'm looking too much into this, but I really do see that Isadora Smackle has a lot more in common with Zay Babineau, mostly just because of the fact of how completely outspoken they are, how completely truthful they are, and how they're open that they are to find out more about not only each other, but about other people. I know Zay wasn't like that at first, and so was Smackle. And I know with Smackle, it was probably because of her Asperger's. She had, she had issues with social in uh, interaction because of her Asperger's. But when it came to Zay, Zay was just stuck in his ways. He just wanted to have everything his way in the way that he wanted to have it, and that was Lucas just being his best friend. But as time moved on, he was open to invite other people into his life, and the same thing with Smackle. So I feel that they're actually going to be learning from each other, and they have learned from each other through the people that they're with. Mostly not so much with the fact that Zay was with Maya, but the fact that Zay was involved with the group. But the fact that Zay, that, that Smackle was involved with, with Farkle, and Farkle learned so much from Riley, that she's learning how to accept people in her life. And I really feel that the fact that, that they're growing right now, they'll be able to grow and get to know one another for being different. So I really do believe that, that Isadora Smackle is far better for Zay because not only are they very outspoken and have a little bit more in common for being outsiders in the main four, they're also open to get to know each other and actually I think that they admire each other a little bit. Maybe that doesn't seem like a legit reason, but in my opinion, it kind of is. But guys, I want to hear your thoughts. Who do you think is better for Zay Babado? Maya Hart or Isadora Smackle? I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, as well as hit that like button if you like this video, since I'm hearing that, that YouTube has a lot of issues. So just hit this like button, and hit the like button if you actually do like this video, and honestly guys, I thank you so much for your support that you have given me for this channel, as well for this series. But guys, like I said before, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And it's your girl 30 signing off. Peace out. Later.